Good morning. So imagine yourself in a festival while walking through the crowd. You notice a booth with cool pen and paper and selfies. Have you ever wondered how it works? It is so simple that only in a week you will be a pro at doing pen and tattoos. Today I'm going to show you and also explain the steps for a pen and tattoo success. Because I know almost everyone in this class can vote for this topic. <laughs> so I will talk about the origin, the materials you will need, and also how to take care of them. So the origin of henna is from a plant which grows in tropical climates of Africa, Northern Asia, and Southern Asia. Um, it is thought the Mahendi originated in the desert of, of India. People that lived there discovered that covering their hands and feet with colored paint helped them to keep their hands and bodies cool. Okay, so, hot there. so the leaf contains a pigment called blossom, which is combined with protein that causes stain. Because of the same quality, henna has been used throughout the ages to dye hair and to do henna art. So, um, for the materials, you would just need henna, pure henna. Henna can come in like very like different colors, like black, purple, pink, white, yellow, green, blue. Okay, so he's my model. And um, can you please stand up? So since he plays football, I'm just gonna do like a little football on his butt. <laughs> so basically, I don't know how so I'm just gonna ask you real quick. Can you guys see? Sure. I don't know if I can do it. So let me guess that. Okay. So there you go. I'm gonna do it in like it's easier with a dark screen. It's gonna like glass lovers, you know. I'm not saying because he's <laughs> So, as like I said, like Kenna, you can buy like almost like in any Indian store or in Amazon. That's where I got mine. So, you can freehand, can you guys see? You can freehand or you guys can use like stencils. But I freehand because I'm a pro and you know. And so, it's like, can you show the football? And then, so this is like how the pigment looks. Just gonna do a little line here. And if you can do a freehand, that's amazing. It took me like a while to like actually get it. Cause a lot of people don't have like, so it's kind of like how to like do a straight line. It's not easy. So I'm just gonna like give him some shade or stuff. And yeah. So this is just a little example. And I'm gonna take it on and just gonna try it. Okay. So now I'm just gonna do a little pictures on you here. And then I'm going to invest it up. Okay. So I want you to pass this so everyone can see like the henna and what it's made out of and you just see it. So these are like the stencils. These are some of the stencils. Okay, so this leads to the care of henna. So henna will last like 
a week or so if you take good care of it. You cannot put oil, detergent, chlorox, or any of that on your skin. And so when it dries, it's going to peel off like, like a sticker. It's just going to fall off like this. And um, so just avoid getting it wet. So basically, henna is a great way to have a non temporary hand tattoo. And it's also something different for your skin. So today, we learned about the origin, the materials, and the care of henna. At first, I was not good at it, but then, like with time and practice, you'll be half as good as I am. Thank you so much for listening to me.